This is Megan Barry's family during better times. Ten days ago, the Nashville mayor got a knock on her door at 3 a.m. Your first thought is that you've had a police officer who's been injured um, and you need to get dressed, you need to go to the hospital, and you need to comfort a family. Instead, it was she who would need comforting. Her son, Max, had just died of a drug overdose. Did it come as an absolute shock? Yeah, totally. You didn't see it coming at all? I didn't see it coming. She says Max had been to rehab once before for abusing Xanax, but he'd recently graduated from college and moved to Colorado. And he was your only child? He was our only child. Yeah. Our only. Today, the mayor revealed he had a lethal combination of drugs in his system, including Xanax, cocaine, and the opioids methadone and hydromorphone. I want to just shake him and say, what were you thinking? It is a tremendous problem in our country. On Tuesday, President Trump stopped short of declaring a national emergency, but he pledged to ramp up law enforcement to combat the opioid crisis. Is that enough? No, we're not going to arrest our way out of this problem. You need having access to beds and treatment. Has it sunk in yet? I don't think so. Um, I, you know, I think that uh, this hole that I have in my heart will never f be filled. See, right here. She shared with you. us their final texts. I'm so grateful that the last words we said and the last text we sent said, I love you. Max Berry was 22. Gabe Gutierrez, NBC News, Nashville. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.